All right, so this is the second to last update that the roguelike is gonna receive in 2023. This might be the craziest of the bunch. There's supposed to be a candle here. All candles are replaced by these little guys. Skulls that go in a square. It's hazard mode, let's go. I guarantee I'm gonna be taking a lot of unnecessary, unintentional damage. You can lock that in. Good start though with the combat knife. Oh good, Windy and the Spikes. Nice. This is good, this is good. You know, all of these are available as separate patches, right? Oh, hang on. Jeez. <laughs> Sick combo. But, like, you could do, like, Ultra Instinct, Julius Belmont follows you around, Hazard Mode, Hungry Mode. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, just, yeah, get me out of here. It's fine. Combo to the edge of the screen. Now, reminder, in this game, Hazards actually get stronger the better your defense. So, armor is kind of indirectly nerfed. What is this nonsense? Oh my god. A lot of weapons early. Gotta heal. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, let's go again from the top. I thought for sure I had a potion at that point, and I didn't. That's why I used the book. What a costly error. Alright, round two. This time we're gonna go even faster. Look at this. The symmetry. Combat knife again, or never mind, this is Basilard. Almost as good. You know, why did I think Bifron was gonna work underwater? Something is wrong with the ghosts here. Okay. Um. Nice. Barely. This is honestly a really good start. And back dash. Is this even possible? <laughs> there we go. God, gotta be ultra precise. over to this. Honestly, maybe even hammer is a good idea here. It's really strong early. Oh, 
Okay, is this fair? Oof, nice. Big question, do I put on the armor? It reduces damage from enemies, but increases them from the many, many hazards. For now, I'm gonna leave it off. All right, I guess I'll put it on. Do I heal before Creaking Skull? That's an interesting question. I'm gonna try and hold off. Okay, good call. What a fight. Oh, it's one of these. Oh my god, we're moving. I like how on paper, no air control is supposed to be more like classic Vania. You know, going all the way back to like Castlevania 1, where if you jump, you're committed. But here, you just go crazy with the backdash speed. I'm not sure how Xanthus did it, but I'm really impressed that these vertical rooms no longer have invisible enemies that pop in. Just makes the whole thing a lot more fair. I'm sure that wasn't easy to do. So I'm pretty sure you can safely dive kick on the rotating skulls. Let me test it out right here. Yeah, you sure can. That could come in useful. Let me full clear this room before I move on. What am I missing here? Oh, I got slide and didn't realize. Okay. The high potion and the, the super. Oh, double HP. Unfortunate. Just wanted to scoop up that potion. Hang on, that could be bats. Flying armor.
That's too much. <laughs> Good luck getting around there. Nice trade. Nice partisan. It's a really good pickup. I used to think that uh, the Battle Axe was the best random early game pickup. I'm starting to think it's the Partisan now, with this new Pierce effect. Very good. Actually, I think it's done. Is this really intended to get up here? Flying armor plus dive kick off the hazard. Man, Xanthus has really been cooking. <laughs> there we go. Go check this out. Got it. Nice. Oh, that's a huge pickup. Arguably the best yellow in the roguelike for free. All right, don't have to obble that later. You know, once again, very late on the double jump. This has been happening to me a lot lately. It's alright, we just get practice with the other kinds of movement. Like Bat Dash. Is it worth? No, I'm too scared. I'm actually gonna go ahead and potion here. Still no double jump. I guess that's gonna be in the uh, school locked area. Both forms of flight is good. Now, I got a uh, comment slash some feedback on YouTube 
that I wasn't going over here enough. Grapes? Worth. Alright, so we're going over here. Hey, look, there's a weapon. Honestly, shoutouts to YouTube. I should be going over here more often. I thought this was like healing or money, but if it's a weapon, that's super worth. Also, what's up Eldritch? How you doing today? I keep it simple here. That's some good pierce damage. Nice no hit. So in the vanilla game, to answer your question, blue souls are tied to int, and red souls are tied to strength. A lot of people consider that a flaw, but if you've speed ran this game before, you know that that would totally mess up the balancing. Like blues are already so good in Aria that the uh, strength int split is actually perfect. However. The roguelike does a lot of rebalancing, and so now int works quote-unquote correctly. It affects both reds and blues. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Let's actually go ahead and high potion here. That was actually some really good enemy synergy there. The petrify plus the um, the imp hold attack plus the Valkyrie charge. That was a really sick room. You couldn't have planned that better for the enemies. Okay, the armor is actually getting good now. So the spikes are going to start dealing, like, double-digit damage. Got to be especially careful now. Nice, nice. Is that fair? <laughs> Push right into the guy. Got that straight out of Ninja Gaiden. So typical roguelike, it's like a DS Vania rando. Double jump is gonna be last progression. Oh, you hate to see it. Okay, down we go. It's a gun. It's always the bad gun. Speaking of synergy, high knockback and a million hazards. All right, don't get it. Oh my 
my god. Oh my god, no! Oh my god. A no entry hazard. This whole room has been such a mess. It's a good idea. Quicker weapon for this. Let's try this one. Not enough reach. Man. Um, about to give up here. S stock. Actually, let's just go with blue crow. That's simpler. There we go. Finally, double jump halfway through, oh my god, halfway through the rando. Almost got the orb, hang on. That would have been a little bit of hubris right there. I gotta get the orb. Let's go back. <laughs> there are even hazards in this room. Nowhere is safe. some marbles here. I guess we'll take some mind ups as well, why not? Go up to the max. I think this one is um Gallimoth, right?
Uh-oh, uh-oh. So I got those mind-ups. Not a great start to the second half, though. Oh, that's right! There's supposed to be a guaranteed meat strip in the candle, but of course, of course, the candles are all gone. It's hazard mode. Oops. Levitane, huge. All rocks, huge. Black belt, not bad. All of a sudden, we're just decked out, huh? Just like that. Oh my god, I just need to kill one enemy. Oh my god. Oh my god, tricky, tricky altairs. Xanthus, did you give those initial invulnerability so you can't just walk into a spike? What a fair hack this is. It's so fair. Heal up one more time just to be safe. I can obble a uh, slime, I think. Tend to find chaos is always pretty easy in the roguelike, at least on hard mode. Nightmare, a totally different story, of course. But slime just really helps with consistency. Okay. 
Still looking for the top tier weapon at this seed. It's not gonna be here. What are we thinking? Claim, final. Excalibur, maybe. I'm sorry, I was waiting for the cutscene, I was looking at chat. <laughs> there is no cutscene in the roguelike. Oops. Try out Legion for a little bit. It's a fun red to use. I feel like of all the abilities, Slide in particular gets a nice buff in Hazard Mode. Ooh, Balmung. I could see Balmung being good enough to be like a final weapon for a seed. It's not great, but it is good. I'll definitely use it if it's the best I have. Good Julius weapon especially. For YouTube, gotta check this for YouTube. Gonna get a quick claim on the right side. Just cash. safe, yeah. Yeah, unnecessary, but better safe than sorry. Those uh, flame pillars would have killed.
I'll try it a different area. Let's go back down to the uh, bottom right. Oh my god, it's the silver. <laughs> Way too late for that to be any good. Oh my god, almost got pushed right into the poison. Was that fair? How many kickers does so many? I think one kicker skeleton is plenty. Oh, you know what? That's actually fine. The momentum carried me through the giant skeleton. Nice. Okay, so there's our top tier armor for the seed. I'm trying to use more souls now. And there's our top tier weapon. It is indeed an Excalibur seed. Nice. My favorite. Oh, and a rune ring? Why not? Just don't die here. Uh oh, uh oh. Careful, careful, careful. Playing a little risky here. I do want to hold on to that super. We're gonna go for a, a no hit gram. Run could die right here, let's see. Now I gotta heal. Oh dear. So that's the classic, you heal, then you never get hit. On to the final 20 floors. Let's go. So more than ever, it's really important not to be careless. With Panther, running into hazards is going to be a very easy. Take one of these. So I just took sixty damage from hazards. What did I tell you?
So that should be safe. Let's try out Balmung here. So in the vanilla game, you find this Balmung weapon in the arena. It's in one of those uh, challenge rooms, so it's kind of secretive. We're getting the omni Eye spam. Nice camouflage. <laughs> Almost didn't see those. Yeah, just gonna pass on this whole room here. Get me out of here. Everything gonna pass. I think I'd rather have the int boost. Okay. So I don't have any healing. But I think it's gonna be fine. Just need a good phase one. And then we can boost on phase two. Maybe with some succubus healing. Textbook chaos. Great finish. I think that's definitely one of my favorite challenge modes. Maybe the best of the bunch. Hazard mode, it's a nice small addition, but it affects the whole roguelike from start to finish. So I think this one's really cool.